My name is John, I'm from Pro Digital Gear, and this afternoon I'd like to show you how to make neat corners on a gallery wrap. It's the hardest part of a gallery wrap to do, at least in my experience. Today I'll be using the new Exhibition Canvas Natural from Epson. Uh, I have been using the Exhibition Canvas, and I find the new canvas a little bit easier to use. It's easier to wrap, a little bit lighter weight, and I'd like to demonstrate my method for making the nice, neat corners. I can't take credit for this method, but I don't know who to give credit to. So bear with that and I'll show you the wrap in just a minute. The wrap I'm going to do, I've already made the stretches on two sides and I'm now ready to make those corners. The first step in making the corners is to locate this diagonal line on the frame and I want to cut about halfway on that diagonal line. I'm going to fold it back and I'm going to cut the canvas about halfway on that diagonal line. After that, I'm going to cut away this piece. You do need a sharp pair of scissors for this. I'm going to snip away that little tab. Then I'm going to pick about a half an inch and I'm going to cut back to that fold in the material and I'm going to cut away this piece of the material. Once I've cut away that piece of the material I have this little tab I'm going to fold that back to make that little triangle and then I'm going to cut that away. That little triangle, triangular piece of material. Having completed all of that, we're now ready to do the same thing on the other side and then we'll make the folds to create the actual corners on the canvas. Okay, now that I've completed the cutting on both corners, I'm ready to actually make the folds. To do that, stand the canvas up on its end with the image side facing you. Use your index finger to push in and roll back the canvas. And here you want to make sure you've aligned the edge of the canvas with the edge of the frame as best you can. If it doesn't line up quite right, just readjust it until you can fold it over and make that nice, neat, square edge. Now that you've completed that nice square edge, do the same thing on the other side of the canvas and you're ready to do the final stapling. I really encourage you to try the new Exhibition Canvas Natural from Epson. It's available in glossy, matte, and satin finishes. This happens to be the satin finish. I really think this new canvas is easier to use than the current Ex Exhibition Canvas from Epson. Thank you very much for watching this instructional video. I hope you find it useful.